Okay, folks, this will be a challenging one. Uh, it's got potential. And let's see if we can make this one turn out looking good. Tricky one it's going to be. We'll see how we go. Okay, let's see what we have have here. I think it's a dress. I don't think it's a shirt. I think it's a dress or it's a shirt. Maybe a shirt or a top. Maybe we could call it a top. So this is it. We're interested. I'll just show you the detail here. So I'll just show you the detail of these beads. We're mainly interested in this section. So we're just going to pick it up and put it down. This is going to be difficult. Trying to find the right spot. Really missing a loved one, folks. Trying to get in touch. Trying to use this material I produce. Pardon the pun. We know this is material we have here. This is, a... But basically, I'm trying to get my stuff to go on television. I'm actually thinking... Gonna leave it. Yeah, that looks interesting, but we weren't interested in the shirt, in the material, we're interested in the and the beading which looks really interesting up close. Uh, I do think I fucked up with this. Uh, I don't want the. Oh, fuck. I'm trying to find where it goes, where the where the V is, the V shaped piece. Um, try and just put it in the right place. Yeah, that's a lot better. That's all all covered up with the beading in that. Looks a bit horizontalish. I would like a bit of a curve, a bit of a twist. Hopefully that twist won't fuck it up. Um, we're just going to twist it maybe this way. It's a bit like doing the twist, that song. Yeah, you hear that on the Woolworths. Woolworths were using, I think it was Chubby Checkers, the twist as a uh, jingle for their advert. Haven't heard it for a while though. But I really find advertising really annoys the shit out of me. Anyway, that looks nice there. That looks too vertical. Uh, maybe we could uh, move it up a bit but basically I really am missing a loved one and I'm trying to get in touch and I'm trying to use the free to air TV news the prime time news to to find him as it as there's no other way I can get in touch I don't even know exactly what his surname is so there's no way I can contact him through uh, conventional uh, methods now that looks interesting but we're right on the edge that looks all right uh, wondering if we can maybe move it down a bit uh, I think I moved it up too high but basically I really miss my partner 
I made some errors when I was young and I fucked up. And these became the problems I have today, being alone and being desolate, not having someone always there to talk to and to be with. I really miss this person, his name's Luigi. Now I'm wondering if this is going to be any good. But basically I really miss my partner and I'm really longing to be put in touch with him. I really miss his presence. And I see no other way that I'm going to get in touch. Now I did it wrong, I fucked it up. That there is meant to be, I was meant to put it closer, not further, not down, it was meant to go up. Or was it meant to go down, I think? Just to twist it down a bit. But basically I'm really missing my partner and it's really cutting me up. It makes me think of the past. It makes me think, feel lonely. I get anxiety and depression feelings instead of feeling happy and it's really hard being joyful and I've fucked it again, I've moved it even further. Ah, fuck. I don't know which way to move it. But I really miss my partner and it's really cutting me and I just can't seem to, um, I think it's going up but I just can't seem to find him. I just can't seem to get in touch because the TV channels only care about negativity, COVID-19 and uh, bushfires and murder and crime and house fires and shit like that. Stuff that has no use. Now this part has gone in the wrong place, but I don't think we can get too fussed with that. I think that's a good... I think we've done this well enough. Um, but basically I'm really getting fed up with not being in the news, not having my stuff matter to the world because I'm trying to get in touch with this person and it's really... It's really difficult trying to appeal to the news when they just care about nasty things. I'm gonna pull it up, or are we gonna pull it up? But basically I'm really feeling lonely and it's really hurting, hurting me. And I'm really just needing to find where this person is. And this is really difficult, this piece I'm doing. But I'm really lonely and des desolate without him. Now we've fucked it. We've made, got those straight across beads once again. Um, I think we just have to move it up a bit. But I'm really lonely and it's really difficult. And I'm really getting sick of this trying to make these videos and trying to appeal trying to get my stuff to go to air so I can find Luigi I know people have got to have some knowledge about facts about COVID-19 yes I understand but what I find annoying is that it, it, it just becomes the the darling of the news channel and it just doesn't seem to end we just seem it's like the news channels just can't seem to get enough of it and it just gets to me and I just get so annoyed I put money towards this folks I'm not rich I'm not like a TV channel I don't I'm not rolling in cash I'm not a rich person I don't even have any class I'm not even a classy person 
I'm not even working class. I'm down the bottom. I'm disabled. I'm a fucking disabled person, folks. And I don't get any fucking... I do get help. I have the disability support pension. I have the NDIS. But I'm not happy being reliant on these things. I'd like to fucking do something, folks. I'd like to fucking get off these supports and into the arms of the one I love. I'm sorry. I apologise to the taxpayers that have to fund me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very sorry that I have to f that I'm disabled and I'm unable to work and earn enough money to live. And that's really not good for my self-esteem, but I have to accept it. I have to take the handouts that I get because that's the only way I'm going to live. Otherwise, I'd be on the street begging and have nothing. So I'm very grateful for Centrelink. I'm very grateful for the NDIS. I'm very grateful for you taxpayers who support me with this stuff. But I'm not interested in staying on it forever because I have a hope. I have a future, folks. I have Luigi. If the, t if the TV channels can come and, c come and help me with what I want. And if I get married to Luigi, I'll be off Centrelink. I'll be out of the NDIS. I'll be, he'll, he'll be the one supporting me. And I'll make a future and, and maybe support myself, not support myself and entirely, but this art could become a form of revenue as well as Luigi. You know, I could earn my way. I could earn my keep. But we love each other. So, you know, he loves me. Anyway, that looks really quite nice. I think now we can call this demo quits.